experience. Welcome to Factory Direct Bikes Bike Maintenance Podcast. My name is Mike Jenner and I'm going to show you how to get the best out of your gears. This will include setting them up, changing the cables and what tools you require. Most people worry about setting up their gears. In fact, it is one of the easiest things to do on a bike. I'm going to show you my four step guide to helping you get ultimate gear shifting performance. The first thing I always do is make sure that the front and rear gear cables are undone and away from the bike. This helps give you a default setting. There are two very important screws on the rear derailleur. They are the high limit screw. This controls the position of the jockey wheels when in the high gear at the back. You also have the low limit screw which adjusts the positions of the jockey wheels in the low gear at the back. This is the ideal position for the rear derailleur in the high gear. Once you've achieved this, grab your gear cable, insert it into frame and into derailleur, put your screwdriver down, pull the gear cable tight and using your Allen key, do up the pinch bolt, like so. We are now able to check that your rear gears are working correctly. Gently pedaling the bike around, use your shifter to change to the next cog up. The ideal position is for the top jockey wheel to be directly below the gear the bike is supposed to be in. If it looks like this, where the chain is too near to the wheel as opposed to under the cog, use your barrel adjuster to bring that position back. Likewise, if the cable's too loose and the chain is too near to the frame, Tighten your cable with the barrel adjuster to centre it. We shall now carry on checking the rest of the gears. On each one, ensure that the gears are set correctly and that there's no strange noises or skipping coming from the rear mech. Gradually, you'll get to the low gear. Now, in this particular position, you can see that the chain is wanting to jump off of the low cog. To stop that happening, you tighten the low limit screw. By tightening the low limit screw, you can now see that the chain no longer wants to jump off of the low sprocket. Check that the gears also change to the higher gears. And once you're happy with your rear gears, you can now adjust your front mechanism. Step three of my four step plan is to now set the front derailleur. Again, on this derailleur, there are two adjustment screws. There is the high limit screw and the low limit screw. As before, the low limit screw only alters the mechanism in the, on the low gear, and the high one only alters it in the high gear. The middle gear adjustment is done using a barrel adjuster at the shift lever. The first thing you need to do on the front derailleur is to set the low gear, making sure the bike is in the low gear at the back. What you're looking for is a one to two millimeter gap between the inner plate of the derailleur and also the chain. If the screw is wound too far in, 
you get a rubbing noise on the derailleur and it also will not shift down into the low gear. I shall now adjust this like so. Once you're happy with the low position, you need to attach the cable. Once you've changed gear to the middle sprocket at the front and the middle sprocket at the back, check that your chain is sitting in between the two derailleur plates. If it's too far towards myself, you need to loosen the cable. If it's too near to the bike, you need to slightly tighten the cable. This is done by adjusting the barrel adjuster at the shifter. We now need to change to the high gear at both the front and the rear derailleurs. The final step of the plan is to make sure that there's a very, very small gap between the chain and the outer plate of the derailleur. This will stop the chain jumping off of the front cogs and also make sure there's no rubbing noises. If you find that the chain is being pushed off of the cogs, adjust the high limit screw so that there is no movement in the derailleur. Once you're happy that you've sorted that, check through your gears using your gear shifters, both the front and the back, to ensure smooth shifting. If you aren't getting smooth shifting, it might not be that you haven't set it up correctly. It could be to do with wear on the sprockets, or the chain, or in the cables. If this is the case, please consult your local specialist bike shop.